San Francisco. I love this city. I grew up here. It's always been a very, very special place to me. I leave, but there's always something that pulls me back to this city. The streets, the people I met there. Paper! Get your paper here. Hitler found in Hollywood, signed three picture deal. Read all about it. Get your copy of the National Intruding Son. Man, Mary, sister, father of own nephew. How are you doing there, pal? Hey, what it was? What, what's happening? Yasser Arafat, Ringo Starr, same man. Read all about it, there. Hey, pal, how you doing? Hey, don't look so glum. Hey, not even the Pope couldn't get in there tonight. What are you, crazy? Ha <laughs> ha! It's that type of night, you know? Place is booked solid. Yeah, how you doing, pal? Hey, that's it. Hey, hey, hey enjoy the show there, you know? Yeah. Take care of yourself. Hey, yeah. crazy guy. <laughs> that's it. Yeah, you know, I used to see this guy in the beginning. Yeah, he'd play anywhere. Go to the opening of an envelope, bug run, worm wrestle. He'd be there. <laughs> Benefits. Yeah, he was the benefit pig. What am I talking about? I saw him do a benefit once, save the shrimp. <laughs> Ain't that a bitch? Yeah, I'm telling you that boy. Oh, he's a crazy guy, though. Grew up around here. Yeah, he did, you know? You know what I'm saying? Grew up in Marin County. He was 16 before he had his first Porsche. Oh, yeah. Had to work all winter long just to go to Europe. Oh, ain't that a bitch there. Whoa, it's some kind of day, eh? How you doing there? Hey, have a good show in there. Oh, see? We're still going in there. How are you? Paper! Sneak in. Take a chance. Oh, that's what he's doing. He hasn't got an act. He's just out there. Come on! Let's improvise. How you doing? <laughs> nice night, eh? Best. Thanks so much, sir. Ladies and gentlemen, Robin Williams. What a glory night we have here tonight. Will you look at this little thing we have here? It's the Sistine Chapel designed by Fredericks of Hollywood. Look at that. <laughs> now, look at this. Wayne Newton's living room. <laughs> My God, look at that thing. It's the type of place where Slim Whitman could sing Aida. Yay. <laughs> From the low, may low, You ever listen to that man sing and think that, My God, he's got his balls in a vice. <laughs> This, my low, my, and my special people up there. It's a severely medicated section right there. Wonderful, my God, look, we're home, San Francisco, back again. Oh. Yeah, yeah. Oh. Talk about people going, yeah, you are, you're home now. <laughs> and you better just be real funny real quick. <laughs> San Francisco, where God saved the queen, is a different meaning. <laughs> yes. You wander out here, don't be afraid. Pardon me. Hello, how are you? Take this off. <gasps> they haven't set yet, don't be afraid. <laughs> Hello? Oh, one, pardon me, I wasn't reaching down. <gasps> Hello, how are you? A little bandana, my God. Hold on. <gasps> oh, look. <laughs> now the people in the bank recognize you. <laughs> Hello, how are you? Lovely place, my God. <gasps> My God, what a lovely shade of tweed. <laughs> Obviously, this is the Marin section over here. <laughs> oh, yeah. My God. 
Come here, Mr. Joffrey. How are you? Hello, let's see. Let's get some more damn people in this place. Here, I tell you. Arafat, party of 6,000, please. <laughs> Luke, Luke! Oh, live at five, live at five. <laughs> I like to piss off the camera, he's going, asshole, stay in place. <laughs> earthquake, earthquake! <laughs> Not funny to do here. <laughs> if there ever is an earthquake in San Francisco, it's just God saying, get those condominiums off my back. <laughs> here. Mm. Thank you, oh. <laughs> Nice to have Goofy here. <laughs> Wondering over here, one second, I have to wander back. Thank, thank you. <laughs> oh, we're just gonna work on this. We're gonna tease it a little. <laughs> just look over. How about those 49ers? Do you think they're ever gonna work again? I don't know. Let's look over. <laughs> Let's just look over here. Let's second. Okay, we're gonna put a little up here. Hare Krishna, Hare. <laughs> Sorry, right now she's going, I worked all day on that. <laughs> Ooh, mm, more smoke. I want to die. <laughs> Oh, oh. oh my God, what do they call this drink? An acne pimple. Mm. Um, don't be afraid of those open sores, you know. Oh, yeah. Just relax, I'm really getting some heavy tension from you. You know, men have nipples too, did you know that? The guy's going, really? <laughs> Get off my back. Hello, sir, how are you? Pardon me, I'm just, just wandering through the audience. Look at this ensemble. <laughs> My God, what is this? A little raincoat we brought here this evening. Hold on. Don't be afraid, I'll have it back. <gasps> this is a lovely thing. Oh, yes. <laughs> now I can go on the buses again. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> and you find people in San Francisco so nice, they don't flash people, they just describe themselves to you. <laughs> Sorry. Oops. Excuse me, here we are. We'll put this down now. Oh, are you a lovely coat, sir? <laughs> Pardon me, just passing through again, feel like... Pardon me, thank you, thank you. Andre, please keep the people coming, let's go. Thank you. Th <gasps> Look at this spot, this is the Marquis de Suede, no doubt. <laughs> In there with all the people going like, oh, just give me the mask, I don't care what it goes with. <laughs> all right, we better move back up here. <gasps> oh, oh. Somewhere on a beach in California, there's a man wandering around going, I know the tapes are here. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Paul Williams. Before I go on, I'd like to do a little ventriloquism for you. <laughs> Some guys in the back going, see it, let's come on, do that stuff. <laughs> my card, we're here tonight again, once again, my home. Hi, the Marin County people where I grew up. Mom's here, Mama. <laughs> Mama, Oedipus, Medipus, I love you. <laughs> Oi, well, I guess we should get to the show real quick. People are going, we paid good money now. <laughs> people in Marin paid more than good money. They paid beyond money. <laughs> yes. People going into Marin County say, my God, look at that little rainbow. Isn't that cute? They lie, they lie to you. It's an ethnic detector. <laughs> We have two Negroes heading south. Wow, look at him, man. Those people are so damn wealthy, they don't get the crabs, they get the lobsters. <laughs> people, people with names like, I have friends with names like Biff, Tad, <laughs> Muffy, how are you? Good to see you. They don't buy Lacoste shirts, they actually staple a live alligator to the house. Little medic alert badges that say, please, a Perrier and a BMW, quickly. <laughs> a couple of months ago, they had a white shark off the coast of Marin. People were thinking, thank God, at least it was white. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes, come. You never see that white shark, though, swimming in the bay, come up, come up near in Oakland, because people be going, get your ass out of the water. <laughs> come on, get your ass out of the water. I'm gonna make some shoes out of your booty, make it, come on. Come on up, I'm waiting for you. Come on, let it get. And I'll use your fins for my Cadillac. So fuck it, come on out. Well, we better move on quickly. Look at this. We're saving this booth for the Pope to throw out the first baseball. Come on, let's see. 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 Let
Oh, thank you. Strain okay. <laughs> the animal people are here. The type of people who take a little medication, go see Quest for Fire, come out going, wow, what an incredible documentary. <laughs> yes. We know, we know a camera. The fool, I see it, don't be afraid. <laughs> Wait, let me give you a very special picture. Give me the camera. Okay. I give it back. I missed it happy, maybe four. <laughs> Hold on here. Let's see. Okay. Here's a little Japanese man having sex. Focus! Focus, damn it, focus! Ah! Oh. Oh, look at this here. Let's give you a very special picture. There you go. Yes. Oh, yes. I'm glad you had the old wide-angle lens on there. I can't wait till you take that to photo mat. <laughs> My God, what is that? An anaconda pressed up against a plate glass window? What is that? Maybe you could send it to the National Geographic going, it's the Loch Ness Monster. <laughs> and some scientist going, my God, I didn't know it had only one eye. <laughs> it's incredible. Well, sorry, I should give this back. Yeah. What? Ha 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 You thought I'd fall for that old cameraman upstairs shit. Ha <laughs> <laughs> ha, no, okay. <laughs> and na 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 na, I'm safe now. <laughs> Enough's enough. I mean, now we can do like the old water ballet movies. And number four. Oh, People in the back are going, what the hell is he doing on the floor? <laughs> doing that carpet sweeper shit? Here you are. Here you are. I give you your camera back. You may enter the country. <laughs> Please. How are you? Fine. Oh, thank you. Nice, nice to meet you. Don't be afraid. Pass that back to the lady back there, with everything intact. <laughs> Hold on. Oh. It's quiet now, this is where I like it. Just like when I started off about six years ago in small clubs late at night, with two people really drunk on wine going, who the hell is that? It's peaceful, I like it. A couple of my friends back there, people who took like a lot of acid during the 60s. Now they're selling Amway. <laughs> <laughs> you realize, of course, if James Watts sells off all the national forests, all the animals will be on the freeway going, going to Canada? <laughs> little squirrels, little squirrels, little four by five glasses. How you doing, how you doing, hey, hey, how are you? Be a coyote. There'll be coyotes and wolves outside of every apartment building going, your cat's got to shit sometime. <laughs> Let him out, come on. Then you'll see. You'll be trying to throw the cat out and the cat's in the doorway going, I don't want to die! I'll use the sand, I don't care! I please. There'd be a big bear down on Market Street wearing a little forest men's cap out there going like, Bug the forest fire, give me a dollar. Hey, look, this is truly beautiful though. I once saw the real Sistine Chapel. It's wonderful. Look up and see the glory of man and God. Saw two friends from California there. These two guys looked like they're there looking up. They see all this wonderment. They look up and go, wow, bitchin'. <laughs> then I kind of thought, maybe Darwin was wrong. <laughs> no, no. All right, dear. <gasps> look, a little Polish Walkman radio. <laughs> Somebody sitting over on the sides going, that ain't that big. I can carry two of those suckers and still drink a beer. Hey. Isn't it strange, though? Strange, a few months ago on the news, and they're talking about the Falcon Island War. Sometimes they get newscasters who get confused and go, Today in the Falcon Islands. <laughs> Pardon me? <laughs> we thought that somewhere off the coast of Brooklyn, there was some place called the Falcon Islands. <laughs> Where are you going? I live in the Falcon Islands, okay? How you doing? Fucking okay, pal. You thought the only people that lived there were ex-Italian waiters. How you doing? Want me to mix your salad for you? No, that's... And what was the language like? Fucking A, fucking B, fucking C. You realize if there was no oil there, they fought a war for sheep. <laughs> Little Argentinian war brides coming home. Are you Jose? 
Yeah. Strange. And they're going, how was it for you, my dear? Not bad. <laughs> but we Americans, we did our part. The English, the English had Margaret Thatcher, who kind of looks like Julia Childs on Valium. <laughs> Doesn't she always look like she's like, she talks like, first of all, she always looks like someone's holding a small turd under her nose. Like, We did our part, though. We sent Alexander Haig down there to negotiate the peace. Wasn't that wonderful? Having Alexander Haig negotiate the peace is like having Charles Manson as a male nurse. <laughs> Gonna be fine! <laughs> Jump, start him again! Wham! Wham! <laughs> Mr. Bojangle! Did you ever have this strange feeling when Alexander Haig was in office that late at night he'd wander into the Oval Office going, Shh, Ron, just let me push one damn button. <laughs> Oh, Alexander, go in the other room with James Watt and hurt some squirrels. Come on now. I miss Al now. He's gone. Probably selling missiles on late night TV. If you want a better deal, go see Al. So there's only... Hey, Alexander Higgs, House of Missiles. Come on down. Let me show you some... Little... We got this lovely ICBM here. They can't hear you coming. Boom, they blow the tits off the world. Look at this over here. We got a designer cruise missile. Ooh, la, la, va, boom. Look at that there. Look at this one over here. What is a cruise missile? What is a cruise missile? The missile goes, oh, look, a city, let's destroy it. <laughs> Every time I do that, I feel like Richard Simmons. Let's go, girls, let's go. Five, six, seven, and move it, move it, move it, move it. The man is so cruel to women and they love it. He goes, you call those tits, I've seen better lumps than oatmeal. <laughs> Put them together, honey, make one good one, let's go. Those are not cabs, those are steers. Let's move it. You may have had an hourglass figure, but your time is up. Let's go. Let's move now, let's go. The man has a house with nothing but closets, so he can go, I'm in, I'm out, I'm in. Strange. People, people over here are going, what the hell's he doing now? Ha, 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 catch up. These people like, these are guys that go like stand underneath the Golden Gate Bridge waiting for people to jump going, go for it. <laughs> you might fly, you don't know. Come on, take a chance, don't be afraid. For sure. <laughs> Speak a new language. There must be a new language called Californese. How are you? I'm just like totally here for a while. It's been like a really, there are only 18 words in California. It's like gnarly, for sure, totally. I'm bummed, wow. I'm together for a while. Okay, go for it now. Okay, we'll see, bye, bye, for sure. <laughs> I don't know. Right. White wine, this is a little wine here. If it's not wine, it's been through somebody already. So. <laughs> oh, this is good though. They have, so nice, they have white wines. They have red wines, yellow wines. <laughs> Thank you, my son. You know, a mind is a terrible thing to waste. <laughs> Won't you help support the United Caucasian College Fund? <laughs> this is young Bob. Now he's working at McDonald's going, you want some more fries? Just <laughs> done. Sorry. <laughs> Little tiny cape. Oh, I love this. Here's a bullfighter that hits. I, I told you, don't put the cape in the dryer. <laughs> Fuck. I can't, I cannot fight the bull with this little fucking cape. How am I gonna hide this sword behind the bull? Will see the sword, and he'll just go like, well, no way today. What are you gonna say? Oh, me, ella, casa, ella, 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 It's strange being a bullfighter wearing those little tight pants. People going, oh, you're Catholic. <laughs> Ooh. My God, woman. No, 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 where did you get this coat? <laughs> My God, Nanook of Marin. <laughs> My God, this is a lovely, look at this thing. My God, right now there's a whole bunch of animals going, shit, is it cold? <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> Made from kittens around the world. <laughs> Try this on. I won't get the smell in there. You're taking home tonight and the animals will be going, Why? 
Whoa, hee hee. <laughs> Who? Oh, I guess you couldn't afford the bottom fur. <laughs> I look, feel like Liberace right now, going, just leave me the candelabra, damn you. Leave me the candelabra. <laughs> this is wonderful. <gasps> Robin's wearing the lovely pants from Hefty Bag. <laughs> oh, pretty girl. Hump by Notre Dame. <laughs> this is incredible. I love these. This is the type of coat you can go. <laughs> Andre, park the car. <laughs> no, look, we can play Elephant Man going, I am not an animal. I am a comedian. Hey. Is your, just like your dog ever trying to just, just let me have it for the night? <laughs> that's a wonderful coat, my God, dear. That's taking a fashion risk. <laughs> Strange. And we sip some wine now for a moment here. Little racer on the blackboard of life. There are white wines, there are red wines, but why are there no black wines? Like Reggie, a motherfucker. <laughs> It goes with fish, meat, any damn thing it wants to. Thank you, Lumpy. Isn't it nice, though? Have someone like Mean Joe Green advertising it? You better buy this or nail your ass to a tree. But if you ever drink the elite wines, you know, the Puy Fusay, as we say, downtown pussy fussy. They always have the guys who taste the wines going, oh, mm, yes, mm hmm, mm, yes, mm. Ah, absurd yet flaccid. <laughs> yeah, over here. But I love the very, very special wines, the wines like Thunderbird, Night Train, the type of wines where you take one sip and your body says, everybody out, two exits, no waiting. <laughs> oh, oh. Ooh. Some heavy duty paint thinner in those wines. And always on those bottles of wine, it says, like, serve before Friday. <laughs> in the bottom, it says, serve chilled. And I'm sure a lot of winos come into the store going, pardon me. Uh, but this sucker is tepid. <laughs> Would you deposit this in a refrigerator receptacle till it's 58 degrees Fahrenheit? I like my wine like I like my women ready to pass out. <laughs> Al, will you just put that in there? I'll be out front whizzing on your doorway. You gotta be careful, though, if you're drinking a little too much. You get a little drunky wonky <laughs> And you try and drive home, and the police nail your ass. If you're driving in the south, it's usually, <laughs> Stop, Rashid! <laughs> if you're driving in California, it's usually, Well, you get out of the car, realize your true potential will share some energy for a brief moment. <laughs> if you're driving in San Francisco, the policeman usually gets out and goes, Search me, I might have something on me. <laughs> but you must be careful. Especially if you've been smoking a little marijuana. Yes, yes. Yes, the police, the police have a new test to nail you. What they do is they pull you over, they get out of their car, walk towards you like this. Will you get out of the car? <laughs> then you, you're trying to be cool. You're trying to maintain going, <laughs> get in the damn car. <laughs> if you're doing a little cocaine, the police just go behind you, get in the car. But they have a test to see if you've been drinking a little. What they do normally is they pull you over to the side and say, do you realize you're weaving? To which you reply, weave? I don't even knit. <laughs> At that point, a little baton goes right up happy land. <laughs> so you have to be careful. They have a new drunk driving test. I want you to know this just in case you get pulled over by the policia. Yeah? Be careful. First of all, they make you go like this. They make you stop, put your arms out, close your eyes. Makes you feel like Easter, watch out. Then you go like this, they make you touch your nose twice, they go like, start off one, two, and then here's the new part, I want you to know this, the new part is simply like, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine, and fussy, fussy, one, fussy, fussy, two, Uganda, 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 yes. At that point, you just have to look at the officer, you look him right in the eye, and say, fuck it, I'm drunk. <laughs> Like we all know, though, if alcohol's a crutch, then Jack Daniels is the wheelchair. <laughs> you roll right over that abyss going, ah, did you die? 
Doesn't matter where you're from in the country, you take one sip of Jack Daniels, mm, and you're in the road company and deliverance going squee! <laughs> How about you just dropping them panties? Who cares? Let's go now. You have like eight glasses of Jack Daniels, you forget the English language. You just have one massive vowel movement. Oh, go now, if you're lucky, you find someone else that drunk going, I don't know. You want to go out now? For sure. I only now. But if you drink this shit, you'll have to pay the price in the morning. Because you get out of bed and all of a sudden you realize, oh shit, gravity works. <laughs> there you are, there you are, and you have to worship at the old porcelain altar. <laughs> Oh. oh, damn, I didn't put the seat up again. <laughs> and you better pray you have a friend there to help you. Like, you okay? I'm fine. <laughs> Just don't flush me, dear God, don't flush me now. And then you make the mistake of going to work. <laughs> what a fool, because you can hear snails crawl. <laughs> All of your other friends who haven't drank that night come over. How you doing, Bob? Good to see you. Why don't you just eat shit and die? <laughs> A little jack last night? Well, why'd you... Oh, fuck off! <laughs> I want to find out where they make that stuff. I want to take a trip down to Lynchburg, Tennessee. There'll be some guy waiting for you down there going, How you doing? <laughs> Welcome to Lynchburg. Who's that over there? Someone who pissed us off, a comedian. Come on in. You, you know, my daddy married his sister, but it didn't affect me. Come on in, let me take you on a tour of the whole plant. Over here, this is my brother Bob. He's a taster. Here's where we had the secret ingredient. Strange. And sometimes you always see those guys who are truck drivers who make it across the entire United States in one day and say that they don't take speed. <laughs> Bob! Bob, that's the ocean up there. Fuck it, I'm going through. I'm gonna get these pineapples to Hawaii. Come on now. <laughs> or sometimes you see these hats on big guys, men we like to call hunters. <laughs> guys you see sometimes on American Sportsmen. This week on American Sportsmen, we're gonna hunt squirrels with a 350 Magnum. <laughs> we're gonna blow their little nuts off, aren't we, Bob? <laughs> Come on now, let the dog get what's left. <laughs> then, the real show where they take the major chance is Wild Kingdom. They always cut to Marlon Perkins going, my assistant Tom will attempt to circumcise a water buffalo. <laughs> And they cut to Tom, Tom's in a field going, oh, Lord. And the big water buffalo going, your ass is mine now, clown. You ain't got no gun, you just got that Medicaid shit. Isn't it strange on Wild Kingdom, though, they shoot these animals up with something called anestodarts, which is real heavy medication. And it's no wonder the animals come back next week going, excuse me. Yeah, I, I was on the show last week. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, uh, fuck the tags, I'd like to be back on again. Yeah, I'll run, yeah, just roll the camera. Wait a minute, I'm gonna run now. Oh, damn! <laughs> you nailed my ass again. I don't know. And they send these poor medicated animals to the New York City Zoo, which is kind of like a reform school for animals. You see the lion in his cage going, roar, big fucking deal. <laughs> Incredible. They have a little cage full of kvetching hyenas going, nice day, might be, you don't know that. <laughs> little birds in their cages going, filthy screws, filthy screws. Hey. And then, then you always think, I can at least take the kids to see the monkeys. The monkeys are almost human, they're really fun. Come on, Tommy, let's go see the chimps. And just as you take Tommy to the front of the chimp cage, the little chimp up front goes, ah! <laughs> let's go, son. I've seen you do that. No. Easy, boy. 
Also, sometimes, you see these hats? The guys I like to call weightlifters. You know, you like your friends, the bodybuilders, the guys you see like outside all year round. <laughs> guys that like pump iron, looks like someone shoved an air hose up their ass. Like... <laughs> <laughs> How you doing, Bob? <laughs> <laughs> I always just want to see one of those guys. How you doing? What? Oh, shit, I cramped up. <laughs> That's okay, I can make it to the car. <laughs> then there's always the big bodybuilders like Arnold Schwarzenegger. Arnold and Cohen, the retailer, Arnold Schwarzenegger. There he is. I always want to say, Arnold, come on now. You, you take steroids, don't you? No way. <laughs> Let's hear it. Let's hear it. Yes. Niners! This man, this man is a professor at Stanford. Doesn't matter who, what type of job you have. You may be a PhD professor, but all of a sudden, like, Niner field. Niners! <laughs> professor Hibble. Well, I like the team, Niners! <laughs> Forty fucking Niners. Thank you, Sister Therese. <laughs> <laughs> she and Father Tom are going fucking A-boy. <laughs> Get out there today and tear the titties off the other team. <laughs> I don't want you to hold back today, Jim, when you go out there today. And we here at St. Swithin's have a wonderful policy. Let's do that St. Swithin's cheer now. Rick 'em, rack 'em, rack 'em, rack 'em. Get that ball and really fight. <laughs> Be great if there's a high school somewhere in Marin County called San Samia. <laughs> What's the cheer like? Well, wow. Well, wow. <laughs> Go for it right now. <laughs> well, you play the high schools. You play high schools from Oakland, like. Wow, mom, rah, rah, rass. We gonna nail your honky ass. Get out! <laughs> yeah, it's strange, but people cheer now. But where were you six years ago? <laughs> where were you six years ago when the 49ers had a quarterback going? Well, hike when the energy's right. <laughs> when they used to have linemen who go like, well, I really can't deal with him. His pressure's too intense. I mean, he, he just, he wants to run over me. I, I tried all the moves, I tried the thing, I let him go by, and then I pushed him, get off. Get off the field, I don't need this pressure. You know, what is it gonna be? There's a football strike on now. I mean, what are those guys gonna do for a living? I mean, there's one picket line I don't wanna cross. <laughs> How you doing, Mr. Green? Whoa, you better not mess with me. Whoa, thank you, Mr. Green, thank you. I mean, what are those guys gonna do? What's the center gonna do now that he's out of work? Work in a fast food restaurant going, your hamburger's ready. <laughs> what are the referees? What are the referees gonna do? Become like, referees gonna come go, bo oh, go. <laughs> Dyslexia is a horrible disease. <laughs> I was the only child in Halloween to go, hi, trick or trout. <laughs> so sad to see all the other mothers going, it's the Williams boy, better give him some fish. <laughs> What are the referees gonna do? Are they gonna become go-go boys? See referees downtown going, look, five yards. Let's go, TD, let's go. Don't you know? Flipping now, flipping. That's it. But now, now the 49ers have real linemen. You know what I'm talking about. You know, head, neck, optional. <laughs> big men, big men that go like, what do you do today, Billy Bob? Well, basically, what I like to do is break through the line, grab a quarterback, and say, make a wish. <laughs> Strange, though. What is a center? What a position is a man who plays center? What do you say? What do you do for a living? You say, what do you do? Oh, well, basically, I bend over, have a little towel hang over my ass. <laughs> Must be very compromising when somebody walks up behind you and goes, <gasps> why haven't you called me? <laughs> At that point, yo, you're out of here, clown! <laughs> but also, the most important man of all, a little tiny man named the field goal kicker. Usually European, with names like Ibano Khalibah Khidibe Shibayim. And they're usually like this. It's usually like, okay, field goal, thousand dollars. Okay, field goal, two thousand dollars. Uh oh, lineman, fuck it, take the ball. <laughs> but the real important man on the football team, we know, is the quarterback. Usually. Usually men with big hands and big feet. And you ladies know what that means. <laughs> yes. Yes. Big gloves and big shoes. 
These quarterbacks are always shot in slow motion because they're always coming up to the line. It's always very much instant replay. Very, very tender area. Yeah. Oh, easy boy, easy, whoa, easy. It's like a little rodeo pony in there going, let me out, come on. Grab it. Yeah. Grab it? No, no. I can't grab him because he'll be going, whoa. Well, Men do that though, we do grab a little area down here. We don't know why, it's when you're nervous. You always see guys that get a little nervous, like, gosh, I <laughs> Sorry, honey. Go, oh, damn it. Strange beast. I don't know why. Even President Reagan must be. That's why I have a little podium cutting him off. Nancy and I are... No, no. <laughs> Everyone does. Every man in a nervous situation will be grabbing. That's why they used to tell the baseball players, don't touch that. <laughs> so I see a lot of guys going, yeah, yeah. Okay. I don't know. Yes. Most men can't even call it what it is. You say, what is that? My penis. <laughs> what? It, it's my penis. <laughs> you can't say it, can you? <laughs> no, I can't. So we think of other names, the really macho guys. What, what do you call it? That's the incredible heat-seeking moisture missile. <laughs> yes. It may not have a conscience, but it does have a memory. <laughs> Watch out, fire one, easy boy, whoa. Fire two, well. Feels like it's leading you around town. I don't care, oh, easy, easy. And you get like sometimes the other guys, the adventurers, it's the throbbing python of love. I like to kind of compromise in between. I like to call him Mr. Happy. <laughs> so if something's going wrong, you can say, oh, look, he's pouting. Oh, look at oh, oh. God. Hi, peekaboo. <laughs> so nice to know Mr. Happy has luggage, too. Like, where you want these bags? <laughs> Strange little creature. Oh, no. You would look down, you look at him and go, why? Remember, I can't wait till they have the metric system, though, so you can go, how big are you? 120. <laughs> you can call me Mr. Tripod now. I dumb. Say, but why? Why did we evolve with Mr. Happy here? Is it like in the old days, so they can tell times? So they go, what time is it? Mm, about 12. <laughs> no, well, maybe about three now. <laughs> well, yeah, high noon now. <laughs> hey. Why, why, why couldn't he be right here? Wouldn't it be nice if Mr. Happy were in the middle of your chest? Should make dancing a lot more fun. <laughs> You'd be dancing going like... Having a nice night, Betty? <laughs> yes, I am, Tom, but what's that? Fountain pen. <laughs> well, it's leaking. Oh. <laughs> well, like, men? It's a strange relationship that men have with Mr. Happy. It usually starts... Oops, here comes my ride. <laughs> nice. What were we talking about? Doesn't matter. I think it's kind of once again we went off that way. The police set me off. It's like that way, I guess, for most people. Look out. Once again, I look out at the faces. People say, it's all right. My mother's over there saying, just like the old days, isn't it? Yeah. Mama knows. Mama used to see me, and she'd tell me these wonderful jokes. She, my first joke was, I love you in blue, I love you in red, most of all, 
I love you in blue. <laughs> See, mama, it still work. We come to America with a dream. <laughs> and look where we buy a house in Tiburon. Ah, oh, yes. Tiburon from the Spanish word tiburon, meaning condominium. <laughs> condominium from the Latin word meaning to overcharge for no reason. <laughs> so, what we were talking about before, my little friend, right now he's going, get back to me. I know, that's shut up. So he's like, no, come on, come on. But we men know the first time you met Mr. Happy was during a time called puberty. Puberty is when nature says, shake hands with Mr. Happy. <laughs> you know that. You know, it's like, you know, you're upstairs, usually with a copy of National Geographic playing Senor Wences. <laughs> Will you call me in the city? Not to me. But no one had the real guts. No one had the honesty when you're locked in the bathroom. Your father's knocking on the door. You're in there oiling the old baseball glove. And your father's knocking on the door going, what are you doing in there, son? No one had the honesty to say, going blind. <laughs> Oh, damn it, I don't care. If it feels this good, I'll take the hair. I don't mind. And then you had the other problems when you're going through puberty, something called erection. They'd happen at the wrong time. You'd be having your first close dance. All of a sudden, gosh, Becky, nice. <laughs> don't go away. Do you find me repulsive? When actually you felt like a pirate going, ah, ha, 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 ha. send the bitch back to me now. <laughs> Don't be lying to me now, Jim Crack. Oh, but you girls, you girls and Madam Wonderful. Yes, you got to go through puberty riding the mechanical pony in front of the supermarket. Remember that? Susie, that's eight dollars worth. I know! Oh, this has the perfect motion. Ah. Two forward, a little back, and a wonderful wiggle, Mama. I still respect you. Hey, it's all right. Strange beast it is. But we all know the ultimate purpose. All of Mr. Happy's exploits. It's babies. <laughs> Isn't it strange that the male of the species, as men, we spend nine months trying to get out of the womb, and the rest of our life trying to get right back in? <laughs> how, how does one little sperm make it past all that rubber? They must have it like the English war movies, where one sperm gets the diaphragm and goes, Poof! everybody else, over me, keep swimming, go on. Then you get the wise ass sperm named Otto going, oh, shh, shh, shh. shh, shh. Here comes the IUD. Shh, shh, shh. Finally, one breaks through all of that, breaks into the inner sanctum. There's the ovum going, hello, sailor. <laughs> At this point, all of a sudden, Carl Sagan walks out, goes, as we peer out past billions and billions of tiny semen, wondering how one reaches its final mark and fetus, don't fail me now. <laughs> there it is, little baby going, <sighs> ah, how wonderful. Suspended in there, you have your own pool. <laughs> Always set at a wonderful temperature, whatever mom's feeling that day. How nice, very, very quiet. You never have to send out for food. It's always womb service. <laughs> no, I'm sorry I said it. It was there. I had to use it. <laughs> all right, so we're feeling little child's in there just waiting. But how lucky can you be as a baby? As soon as you're born, <clears throat> you come out. <gasps> Are those two titties for me? <laughs> oh, yeah! Adjusting the volume! <laughs> But imagine Dolly Parton's child goes, Kilimanjaro! Yeah! I'm gonna feed the world! I have good news for you. I am going to be a father. Yeah. <laughs> yes. oh. 
You hear that, boy? Yeah. He aims straight and true. I feel like William Tell now. Na -na 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 -na. I, I don't know who the mother is, but hey. <laughs> no, of course, it's wonderful. I, I have to take these little classes now, Lamaze classes. I'm taking a new one called Lamaze. <laughs> I'm with two little flags in the operating room going, you're out of there. <laughs> I have Jackie Stewart in the operating room. It's a great birth today, Tom, a great birth. Look at the placenta there, Bill. It's going to be a great thing. They're, they're cutting the umbilical now. The little fetus is out of there, Bill. And you have the real fun of naming the child. Uh, some people used to name their children out of the Bible. I'm, I plan to use the TV guide. <laughs> hey, Kojak, Magnum, get in here, girls. Let's go. <laughs> Actually, I think I'll name him. If it's a boy, I'll, I'll call him Christopher. Right. Yes. Oh, there's a guy named... I bet your name's Chuck, isn't it? <laughs> Right on, for sure. If it's a little girl, I'll, I'll call her Christina. Oh, or Christiana, Christiana, that way she could write a book called Daddy Dearest. <laughs> I can't wait till the child speaks his first words. There you are going, what is it? What is it, Christopher? What are you trying to say? Trust fund. <laughs> Did mommy teach you that? <laughs> Then the first birthday party, daddy's going berserk. All right, children, let's try our little comedy routines now. Two Jews walk into a bar. No, father, no! I don't want to do any comedy today. Christopher, come on now, let's try this. Hey, no, let me give it a break, dad, give it a break. Come on now, what do you want for your birthday? Power of attorney. Christopher, no! You go up to your room, you go up to your room and play with the rubber chickens. You're gonna be funny today. Come on now, try this thing, come on. What, Nini Nini isn't good enough for you? Popeye isn't good enough for you? Popeye wasn't good for anybody, who are you kidding? <laughs> Get out of the... You go up to your room now, young man, and you'll be funny today. No, Dad, fuck that, I'm going up to my room alone again. Then Christopher grows older. He's 21, he's leaving the house. Dad? Chris, how are you today? <laughs> come on now, hey. Pop, that's real sick. <laughs> I'm leaving the house, Pop. I just want to say goodbye to you. Oh, you're going to be one funny comedian. Fuck that, Dad. <laughs> I'm going to be a scientist, Father. I'm going to cure herpes. <laughs> oh, Mr. Smarty Pants, Mr. Big Shot now. Nini, nini, you couldn't go out. You couldn't be funny, eh? The three houses wasn't good enough for you, huh? The fucking ranch wasn't good enough for you, huh? What's wrong with you, boy? What's wrong with you? Take care, Pop. Um, like you always said, let the asshole have the last word. What do you mean, let the asshole? You nailed me, you little shit! Come back here, damn you, Christopher! And he goes away. I go on a drinking spree. I end up downtown the same. Ah, you? Remember me? Ninny, ninny. I am so hard. Pardon me, can you spare $40,000 a week? Oh, I don't care what you say. I'm gonna find out where that asshole Nielsen lives. The little guy with the box who likes the shows. I don't know. Damn it, I don't care. I clawed my way to the middle and I fucked my way down. I don't care. Damn it, I don't care. Right now I'm feeling single and drinking doubles. Ah, oh, Jesus. Pop. I've um, come to take you home. Christopher? You, you don't want to take me home. You don't want me. Yeah, I do, Pop. Let's go. Hey, Dad. We have an announcement before I go on. Will the owner of the DeLorean car, will you please check your trunk? I think you'll find your rebate. Sure gives new meaning to toot the old horn. <laughs> I don't know. Cocaine is such a bizarre thing. 
You always see like six or seven guys crammed into one small stall, and then you hear them all come out, and they're, all you hear is this. And then one guy has the guts to go, flush, let's walk out. And you, have the, you always see the guys going, you think there's any speed in this? No, no, no speed in here. <laughs> Looks like howdy doody on acid. Uh -huh. Yeah, I'm fine. Want to go back to your seat? Yeah, let's go back to our seats now. <laughs> hey, yes, we know what they're doing in there. They're doing the devil's dandruff. <laughs> the Peruvian marching powder. You're doing cocaine in there, we know. You know, cocaine is God's way of saying you're making too damn much money. You know that. <laughs> yes. Yes, indeed, you do, da. You have to be careful there. You know, because also the wonderful side effects of cocaine. Oh, like the paranoia and the severe impotence. Oh, yay. <laughs> and you find yourself standing looking out the window going, shh, <laughs> no one's there still. <laughs> Finally, your dog walks in the room going, you okay, man? Listen, if, if there was someone out there, I would have barked by now. <laughs> and then the people have this stuff that's cut with the wonderful things like manit or something else. And sometimes people have the good shit too, where they go, here, try this, man. Come on. <laughs> what was in that, man? Fiberglass. <laughs> I didn't think you'd notice. No, man, I like bleeding like this. That's fuck. Yes, and then you make the big mistake. You try and go to bed. <laughs> you feel like a vampire on a day pass. You're lying in bed in a big pool of your own sweat with Buddy Rich on your heart going... <laughs> And you have conversations like this. Yeah, I'm fine. Redundant, 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 redundant. Yeah, redundant, 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 redundant. Yeah, redundant, 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 redundant. Oh! And then, then you think, I'll take a quaalude. I'll be fine. Oh, taking a quaalude then is like throwing bricks in the Grand Canyon. Quaalude, such an anti-evolutionary drug. It's so strange you see a girl who's taking two or three quaaludes in the lipstick room going, Is my makeup on? <laughs> I don't know. You can always save money on quaaludes. You want to save money on quaaludes? Just take a ball peen hammer and go, Poof. <laughs> Has the same effect, makes English optional. <laughs> then you make the ultimate mistake. You walk outside, and every animal in the world knows that you're fucked up. <laughs> Even the birds are going, Ah! Mr. Hitchcock, please! <laughs> Finally, I saw once my cat ate a Valium. So sad, so little kitty, he ate the Valium. So I'm sitting over in the corner looking at his paws going, me? Oh shit, I knew how that went. <laughs> oh yeah, meow! <laughs> For sure. <laughs> Do you ever come home late at night, turn on your light, your cat's in the cat box going, turn off that damn light! All right, I'm gonna put the shit everywhere. <laughs> My cat got revenge on me, though. My cat got revenge because one morning, Mr. Happy woke up before I did. <laughs> morning. The cat was laying on the end of the bed and went, oh, a mouse. <laughs> oh, oh, Lord. <laughs> oh, nothing more painful in the world is prying those four little claws. Especially when the cat's going. Nin, 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 that's when I invented the catapult. <laughs> and the cat thought he was safe too, hit the wall and went, oh shit, Teflon. <laughs> but you know your cat doesn't care about you. He doesn't care about you. If it's warm, sure, he'll be nice. If it's cold outside, he'll run up against your leg going, I love you. <laughs> but it's like late at night, usually five o'clock in the morning, all of a sudden your cat wanders downstairs going, gotta go outside. <laughs> You better open the door. I'm gonna take a dump on the rug. You know the shag carpet? And you haul your ass downstairs, you open the door, the cat goes, later. <laughs> you think, now I can go back to bed? No, no. Kitty has more surprises for you. Cause Kitty goes out and finds the only other cat in heat in 800 miles. 
and has the sex of a lifetime under your bedroom window. <laughs> Sitting under there going, oh, yes! More forepaw! <laughs> oh, no! Oh, give it up! Oh, name the kittens after me! <laughs> then he has the audacity after fucking his brains out to come home at 6 o'clock in the morning going, I gotta come back in now. I better come in. I'm gonna fuck up the screen. You haul your ass downstairs, open the door again, the cat's going, how you been? And usually your dog's over here going, oh, you're gonna get it now. Oh, God, oh, boy, they're gonna kick you. Oh, wow. Your cat just walks past your dog going, you asshole. <laughs> You never, you never see a cat go, you never see a cat out in like a major park going, hey, you frisbee. <laughs> I never go for that stupid shit. It's always a dog going, I'll do it. <laughs> what do you want me to do? I'll piss on a tree? I don't care. Jump out, want me to swim in the water, get the dead bird? I'll do it. <laughs> they have the dogs that work like, in the, like to smell out drugs. Those dogs are lucky though. End of the day, you see the dog sitting in their kennels going, hey, great day, wasn't it, damn it? Yeah, Bob, yeah, I know. I knew Rennie, we, he and I were like this. Damn it. I know. And then you see the dogs. The other dogs who work in the bomb squad going, I don't want to die. I've got puppies to feed. But how? How do they ever make little dogs like Pekingese? How do they make a Pekingese? How do they make a Pekingese? And someone say, look, a dog. Let's hit in the face with a shovel. <laughs> Strange little dogs. They all sound like they have asthma, too. <laughs> but I have a strange dog. I have a dog called a Malamute. Yes. The dog is so mellow. The dog is just the kindest. It doesn't even bark. just goes, wow. I have a little California cat that goes, meow. We used to have a little New York cat. Didn't even meow. Just go like, what do you want from me? Yeah, it's strange, but in New York, though, they have rats that are so damn big, they sit outside the apartment buildings going, Here, kitty, come on, man! <laughs> and if you ever lived in New York, if you ever lived in New York, you come home late at night, you turn on your light, and in your apartment, there's 17 cockroaches by the refrigerator going, Hello, my honey, hello, my baby. <laughs> and the two biggest cockroaches of all are standing by the refrigerator going, Big can of raid in their hand going, <laughs> damn, shit. You cop a buzz yet? <laughs> Let's go over there and stay in that roach motel. <laughs> they go in the roach motel, there's a big black widow spider going, I got some for your ass. <laughs> Praying mantis wandering out going, Hare Krishna. <laughs> Sorry I got off on that, but I feel like, hey, who cares? Hey, don't go now. Don't go, you're gonna miss the really heavy duty stuff. Okay, we'll wait. No pressure. Let's put on that closed circuit video. Ah, uh, she, she'll be back in a few minutes. Go see if she's okay, will ya? She might be dead in there, let's see. Damn it, the poor woman might be trapped. Allison. Her name is Allison? 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 Allison. Allison, this is the police. We know you're in there. Allison, if you come out, we won't have to have a fight, Allison. Come on out. We're gonna throw in some stuff in there if you're not coming out, Allison. We've got the dogs out here. Allison, we brought your mother. Allie, come out. Ellie, come out of the bathroom now, girl. Allison, we brought Rabbi Tom with us, too. Ali, what are you doing in there? Ever since you've been hanging out with the shiks, has you been a different girl? <laughs> Allison, damn it, girl, come out. She's safe in there. To her, it's okay, I'll find her. <laughs> Feel like those native guys. Oops, this man's backing up, and these people are going, shit, we paid good money to get stepped on. <laughs> Hold on, I got your chair. Don't be afraid. Sorry, well, she's, she's gone now. Well, I guess she won't be coming back. She won't be needing this thing.
Oh, this is nice. Now they're gonna go, is she gonna go find her? She's okay, it's all right. Well, well, slowly but surely, everybody go look for Allison. I don't know what happened to the club. One woman went out and the rest followed her. What happened? I don't know, it was like that. Finally, he was left on stage going, who was that woman? She went away. It was Mrs. Happy. You hear that, boy? Well, this is... Welcome to the Sierra Club's first annual rose. She's back! Allison, you're safe! Oh, you're safe! Oh, Allie! Oh, my God! I didn't think she'd come back! And now your friend's trapped in there now. Oh my God, I can see them in the afternoon news. They're going, Allison finally reappeared today. Another wonder of club performing. Oh, sorry we just did five minutes on you. It's, I guess that shows you where my act's at, I guess. <laughs> Doing five minutes on a poor innocent woman going back to the bathroom. I know many of you are singing, singing? Oh, thinking either one. You know, Uncle Ronnie has a plan. He's just not telling any of us. You ever look at Ronald Reagan and say, God, that man's severely medicated. I think Nancy's been dubbing him for years and haven't told us yet. Ever notice? He doesn't speak while she's drinking water. <laughs> but yes, you know, no, there's a wonderful thing he does. There's the space shuttle. There's a space shuttle up there. It's so good to know if there's ever a nuclear war, there'll be three men in space going, what was that noise? <laughs> And every time they send up the space shuttle, the toilets back up. Why can't they deal with cosmic caca? Every time they're up there, there's usually an announcement like, uh, yes, yeah, Squealer 1-9, uh, we have a warning here. Uh, what is it, Bob? We have a major problem here with our feces recycling system. Uh, Bill, can you be more specific? All right, sir, the shit's hit the fan up here. And the fan's on high, if you catch my drift. You know that... A toilet backing up in zero gravity is like, whoa! <laughs> no, it's running through the computer, too. We've run it through the computer, Bob? <coughs> yes, sir. <coughs> What'd it say? <coughs> Jiggle the handle? <coughs> Fuck that, we're going outside. <laughs> you ready, Bill? Yes, sir. What giant step for mankind, what great relief for me. <laughs> Mr. Happy in space. <laughs> Let it rip, Bob. <laughs> you better reel it in, you're on TV. Fire one. Whoa, there, whoa. He's, whoa, he's a tether me in, mob, tether me in. Look, I'm writing my name over the entire Soviet Union. Look at <laughs> Strange. Russian farmers the next day going, look at this. This is nice. Now look, this is what I was trained for. I was trained to be an actor. This is it. I know, I, I wanted to do Hamlet. I really could have done it, except when I was at school once. That's why they threw me out, I guess. I was doing Hamlet, and I went, alas, poor Yorick, strike. <laughs> and Hausman, John Hausman, his last words to us was always nice when he said, the theater needs you. I'm going off to sell Volvos. <laughs> okay, John. I wanted to be a method, and I could, and I couldn't. I wanted to be just like those people. They wanted to teach us to enunciate every word, to speak like this, like Richard Burton for those Equus beer. I will need this beer more than you need this beer. Maybe like, I could have been a method actor, maybe. Maybe like Dustin Hoffman. Or maybe like Al Pacino. Then I could do like Al Pacino when he did Richard III. It was like, People always look at method actors going, What's he saying? Shut up, he feels it. <laughs> the man I really want to see play one day is that I want to see Jack Nicholson play Hamlet. Yes. Yes. See him out there? 
have like little denim tights on. Yeah, they're going to be or not to goddamn be. Whether it's nobler to take the caca or sling it right back at him. Stream fantasies like that, like this. Oh, I'm glad there's someone there. <laughs> I'd like to do something very special for you right now. John Davidson sings Devo. <laughs> Come on now, whip it, hey. Whip it good now. Whip it, thank you. Beat me, call me trash. Hey. Try to remember. Shit, I knew how that went, wait a minute. Try to remember. One more time, Fuck it, I know the way. Try, oh, fuck it, let's go on. <laughs> Too much pressure, like Liza. Let's start singing. <laughs> <laughs> they gave me some toys to play with. <laughs> yes, look at, oh my God, Catholic self abuse. Go to hell, go to hell. <laughs> Is this your first time here? <laughs> this is wonderful. Come on, Wilbur, fuck it, we can't fly with just one. These are one. Oh my God. Well, this is great. Men of Troy. We've had another budget cut on the defense plan. This year we'll be forced to fight with Tupperware again. Remember, burp your shield before you go into combat. This must be really bitching. Somebody go, oh shit, oh damn it, I can't. Oh, another Christian crusade. All right, let's follow the children. Let's go. Oh, this is. Oh, look. My God, a diaphragm for an elephant. Simba, come on! <laughs> come on now, honey! Mojo's coming and we just gotta put something in there. Whoa! All those musicals moving around, don't you know? <laughs> Yo, Oklahoma, where the bombs come falling from the planes. Oh my God, somewhere Da Vinci was sitting in a small garage going, Ah, oh, nice idea. <laughs> I think maybe I'll write about it backwards and just to piss people off. <laughs> oh, oh, yes. <gasps> Oh. Will this make you happy? <laughs> I think it just might fit. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. It's nice to know I went too far and there's a whole people going, yes, you did. <laughs> people like people, a mass conscience going, you took that chance, boy. So like an Irish priest, you walk out going, damn it, boy, you're there for a moment, and then you went over the fucking brink. <laughs> now, come on now, boy, come with me, son, give me the gun. <laughs> oh, real funny, Tom. <laughs> I had my healing cloth and bulletproof vest on. You're going to hell for that, Jim. <laughs> you're gonna smoke a turd in purgatory for that. <laughs> I don't know. I remember see those kids, little kids used to sit at home, you'd always have the guys who'd pull the stupid shit like going, come on, Bobby, jump off the roof, it'll work. <laughs> I was the kid that said, fuck, who needs the umbrella? <laughs> oh my, oh yes. <gasps> oh yay. I like to take these down to the zoo and put them in the turtle cage. <laughs> and you watch the male turtles going, give it up, come on. See the male turtles come back to the other male turtles and the other male turtles going, how was it? Mm. <laughs> oh, damn it now. Now many of you men who go into combat might experience some severe mental difficulties. I myself have had eight tours of duty. Ho, ho, and I've had no... <laughs> the doctor says I wasn't allowed to have any oral sex for a month. Hold on. I am a guardian comedian. <laughs> if you're riding Bart and someone shows you Mr. Happy, simply look at him and go, I don't do miniatures. <laughs> also, remember, laughter is the best form of birth control. <laughs> I always feel like those movies where they go, All right, men. Today we need somebody to do something 
somebody to do something incredibly fucking dumb today. We all drew straws, and you, Lumpy, you're the one to do it, aren't you? Well, sir, I don't care as long as you pay me before I go. Ah, Jimbo, I want you to jump out of the plane wearing nothing but your kilts and no underwear. That way, boy, you'll know the meaning of something wonderful. Oh, it sounds like I have a cat in a blender. <laughs> Sorry, right now there's probably some Scotchman in the back going, you better withdraw that one, boy. <laughs> I read some of your press releases. You said you were born in Edinburgh, you little lion shit. <laughs> Where are you born, boy? Where are you born? <laughs> this is what I'd like to do for you. This is Elmer Fudd. Sings Bruce Springsteen. I'm driving in my car. I turn on the radio. I pull you a little closer. You say no You say you don't like it I say you're a wire But when we get It's like fire Good night everybody Bye's, bye's, bye's. Come over here. Father, we're all straight here. Oh, you're not a bye. Come over here, Benjamin. Spain. Paper! Get your paper here. Read all about it. Bo Derek puts magnetic beads in here, follows bus for a mile. Paper! <laughs> paper, read all about it. Nancy Reagan teases hair higher than national debt. Paper! <laughs> paper, read all about how you doing it. Get your paper here, pal. How you doing? How you doing? Hey, yeah, hey, yeah. Hey, hey. Keep moving. Go on. Go to human car wash of love. Paper. Whoa, Mr. Williams, how are you? Ninny, ninny, how are you? Jesus, how, how, what are you doing down here on Broadway? You crazy, you bastard? You, you, can catch, you can catch diseases just walking around. Be careful, Mr. Williams. Watch out, you bastard, you're crazy. They got all sorts of crazy people here. Come in here, Mr. Williams. You're, oh, what are you doing in here? Yeah, yeah. Wow, watch out over there. Hold on, Mr. Williams, my friend over there. That's Lola. She's a hooker. How are you, Lola? Good to see you. Mr. Williams, don't make fun of her. That woman gives mind. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. She can bend spoons, you know what I'm saying? Watch out for that. <laughs> She's a psychic one. Whoa, watch out. Whammo, you don't even know you've been had. Let's go. Pardon me, Mr. Williams, I'll close the door here. Jeez, what are you doing on Broadway? Watch out, you. Hey, you've been walking in some of those porno movie houses. You better be careful. You'll... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Mr. Williams, come here. Mr. Williams, what? Will you look at this weird shit I got to sell? Will you look at that stuff? Look at Mr. Williams, I got to ask you something. You, you know Pam Dauber, Mindy? You, you drill her? <laughs> I didn't think so. Mr. Williams, <laughs> Mr. Williams, will you look at some of these magazines? Look at this. Here's your favorite magazine, Mr. Williams. Look, The Enquirer. Watch out. Whoa. Nee, 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 nee. Yeah, <laughs> Mr. Williams. You know, Mr. Williams, a funny thing. Look at, look at the headline on this Enquirer. Man locks himself in the refrigerator, eats own foot to survive. <laughs> yeah, Mr. Williams, you know a funny thing, Mr. Williams? I put a copy of The Enquirer in my cat box, and my cat won't go in there. Yeah, just looks up at me and says, why? That'd be redundant. Wouldn't that be funny? <laughs> yeah, Mr. Williams. Come in here, Mr. Williams, Mr. Williams. Look at this. Look at over here, Mr. Williams. Look at this one here. Limited nuclear war possibility. Hey, won't that be fun, Mr. Williams? Wow. I mean, who's gonna win a nuclear war? One guy with two heads going, we won, did we? We won. 
Mr. Williams, wouldn't it be nice, Mr. Williams, if they could fight wars with comedy? Wouldn't it be nice, Mr. Williams? Seeing guys going to combat carrying little rubber chicken, go, your mama. <laughs> and instead of landmines, they had little whoopee cushions. <laughs> they got Tommy. Oh, no. <laughs> yeah. You see that, don't you, Mr. Williams? Yeah. Hey. Come here, Mr. Williams. I, I, you got to take better care of yourself. What are these, roadmaps of Iowa? Come here. <laughs> Come here. Shh. Be quiet for a second, Mr. Williams. Look at this. I got something special to show you. You know, most people got autographs of movie stars. I got something special for you. Look at this one, Mr. Williams. It's an autographed picture of Albert Einstein. Yeah? Remember what he said, Mr. Williams? He once said, my sense of God is my sense of wonder about the universe. See that, Mr. Williams? Look at him. Look at his eyes. There's a guy. You see the lights are on and everybody's home. <laughs> Here you go, Mr. Williams. You got a bun in the oven now, so you need this. You better take care of yourself. When your child's born, you pass it on to your kid. Yeah, that way they see somebody that does it, you know? See the light? Yeah, you better go now. Come here. Let me let you out this way. Shh. Don't mind the girl clapping. Shh, shh. Don't let those people bother you. <laughs> Mr. Williams, Mr. Williams, some advice to you. You're gonna have to have an operation one day to have your hand removed from there. <laughs> you know, play with people, not yourself so much. Maybe you should just get a little microphone so you can hold that for a while. Okay, Mr. Williams, take care of yourself there. You know, look at his face. You know, the man knew. That guy you got in your hand, he knew. Take care. Mr. Williams, no, I don't want a tip. I got a tip for you, Mr. Williams. Hey, joke them if they can't take a fuck, okay? Yeah! Right. Good night. Long live home! Mr. Williams, hey, Ninny Ninny, huh? Is that you, Pops? Yeah, yeah, it's me. Yeah, how are you? Great, it's been a long time. Look at you, boy. <laughs> what happened? See us blow up? <laughs> Strange, boy. You, you crazy bastard. You are. Yeah. Shoo, shoo. <laughs> yeah. That, that, that wouldn't happen to be me up there. Oh no way. Look, I mean, because I talk out of this side of my mouth. The only reason I'm talking out of this side is just to mess you up. <laughs> Woo, pass you in both lanes. You <laughs> nah, you remember the old days. You'd sit there and sit and talk to me. Nah, I just remember, I saw something in your eyes then. Yeah, you, yeah, you saw something beyond. I know, I saw it. I did. I saw it there. You talked about what we talked about. That's, that's real nice. I had to. I just think uh, you don't have to talk about it anymore. I brought you a little surprise. Yeah. You deserve a little taste of reality now and then, I think, because this so here. Uh, I brought you the real McGilla. Look at that. A. Einstein. That's not Alfred there. That's, that's Albert. Albert Einstein. Very special man, wasn't he, Mr. Williams? He knew. Yeah. Yeah. What's yours now? You're going to be the keeper of the flame. Come on. Be afraid it's not gonna burn or something. Here, come here, there you go. Gee. Yeah. See, you keep it for a while, and you give it to your little one. They grow up, and they give it to someone special. That way he keeps going on.
Yeah, where's it going to be, boy or girl? Hey, maybe both. <laughs> then you can call it he, she. <laughs> <laughs> well, get going. Thanks for talking to me. It's nice you don't forget. You're a crazy bastard. Good to see the lights are still on. Strange, isn't it? We've seen a lot of shit go down, boy. Phew, <laughs> eh? Wait a minute. Let me... Let me walk with you, at least. You know, Mr. Williams, what's right is what's left if you do everything else wrong. Ain't that a bitch? Yeah. Yeah, that ain't it. She's... Oh, uh, Mr. Williams. Sure, oh boy. You know, I was on Broadway. Yeah, yeah, I was. Sold papers on 42nd and Broadway. <laughs> hey, you're a gullible guy, aren't you? Yeah, you know. I'm like that, aren't I? Crazy. Crazy kind of life I live. Oh, Mr. Williams, I was a comedian once, you know that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Knock, knock. Who's there? Nobody. <laughs> Boy, I nailed you again. But someone's so smart, sometimes you're like, you're like up to your ass, aren't you? 